Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when fit and preparation combined The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Rall representing for I just star mindset Rich forever His Imperial Majesty Emperor Il Selassie the First, Empress Men in the First, Will Emmanuel I, King Selassie I, ja, Rastafari, one more day above ground, beautiful viewers and subscribers. As we know, life is our ultimate position, no, no greater than life, no, no matter what I go on, alright? Yeah, man, so give thanks and praise for life, health, and strength, and today. Today we have um, we have a wonderful uh, reasoning line up for the item zine. Um, we have a, 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 a elder member of the Ethiopian Royal Federation on the program today, and our brother go by the name of Ronald Ronald Pinkook Pinkook. I hope I'm um, pronouncing um, the name right, but I want to introduce the Virgin to the Mindset Program. Blessed love, my lord. Yes, I give thanks. Penny Cook is the name. Yeah, yeah man, Ronald Penny Cook. Ronald yeah, you Cook. pronounce it. Yeah, man, you pronounce it. And I want to greet everyone in the name of your majesty. Yes, I, so that um, we get this thing off to a flying start. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, King. Give thanks and you know, give thanks for taking the time. It's a, it's an honor and a pleasure, you know, for you have the hype on the platform here. Yes, sir. Yes, far right. Give thanks. Give thanks. All right. Um, the 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 the, the, the ice base in in a in a in America at present, right? Yeah, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. All right, talk to me about the I experience coming up into Rastafari to, you know, to a little bit where the eye is now today. So, you know, ones have a background knowledge of, you know, who, you know, who we are talking with. Well, as a Rastaman, right? Yes, sir. I, when I leave Jamaica, I leave Jamaica as a Christian youth. Mm-hmm. And when I come to New York, I see the light of Rastafari. But when I leave Jamaica, I never know nothing about Rastafari. As a matter of fact, when His Majesty come to Jamaica, it's the same year I leave Jamaica, 66. But in coming April, and I leave in June. So when I'm coming in April, I never have no interest in nothing Rasta. So I never really into, can't tell you nothing about His Majesty and him visit. At them time, they made it up other interests, you know what I mean? See. So, yeah. But when you come and New York now, it's like the light of Rastafari shine for me. All right? And then now, that means I uh, know who it is, right? All right. But when you say, you know, yeah, man, we know him as man, man, we know him as the king of kings, and man, we know him as divine, woman too. Yeah. So, 
it's three weeks from now. You know what I mean? All right. So when I come on New York, you know, and ninety-two is when we are celebrate one hundred years of His Majesty. A great dream for me to work here. Come on New York, Brooklyn College and bring the constitution with him, which is the first I ever see that. And then he start to tell me about the Federation. So I did and I listen. And then in tell I and I say the Federation won session money. So many me interested in that. And he's a um, a realistic worker. So anything for the riddle and me interested in that. Right. So when when we heard that now, my question to him was, so who for signature in charge of the land grant? You never expect to get the answer, tell you the truth. But when we heard the answer, Salomon Wolf, so who that so I held away there at Jamaica. So I like, could send a ticket for him, because I have to talk to him. And we send a ticket to Jamaica for Salah in command of the Sit on our reason with him, and we say, Salah, you say, I hear a signature from Sheshimani. How that up? He say, Yeah, man, in 1969, he pick up himself from Jamaica and go. I need to work. Now, that is because the government stopped work with me. All right, the government have worked with me in 61, and then now them stop work with me in 62. So, Salah, go, I eat you up your pan in the moon in 69. And Salah is a poor man, you know. Yeah. So, when he go to Ethiopia in 69, um, His Majesty and the government turn over the land to him as the signature for the land and local 43 as the caretaker for the land will belong to all black people. All right. So, when we confirm the Salah is who he is, the legitimate one chose by His Majesty, we start to we can to revitalize the headquarters because what happened now is that the government tell him say if you want to deal with what you are dealing with meaning Sheshima and the development you have to get the headquarters to sign off on it and when you when you check it them time they you never have no headquarters headquarters damn man yeah the people when they get it from his majesty they did a good job black americans our black American brothers and sisters, they did an excellent job, right? But then now you have all kind of people, you know, and then now the kind of people who take it over was people who run it as a secret society. So when they run it as a secret society for a generation, it's like nobody know nothing about it. And then now they just run it off of the books and park it. So it's like they must be things seven then now. Um, the Federation was for World War II. And when plans were well, well, to done, the Federation done. No, but I know so. All right. Anyway, the Federation have a land in Africa. Yeah, and that happened right after the war done. So you have the opportunity to go deal with it. But you never deal with it. We're going to that another. Right. But so, Salah, go there yeah. and get it from His Majesty. June 30th, 1970. That's a day where Rasta should not celebrate all around the world as a day when His Majesty elevated Rasta man to a government position because the Ethiopian government appointed him yeah, to be the administrator for the land grant. All right. June 30th, 1970. So did he meet His Majesty there and then in 19... Hmm? Did he meet His Majesty there? Yeah man, yeah man. He have a video when do, and the video is available to anyone who wants to see it, right? And in a way, he can tell you about that when he meet His Majesty. Guy you when do know. <laughs> he says His Majesty send for him. When His Majesty come a session on, he not okay and stop way down the bottom where the flag did that. And then now, a man come way down the next end and God is a seller stand up on the end, far as end. A man come to him and tell him, 
majestikalio Mseua Majestikalio Lohu and Skr So in Russia and in Go I'm in Go And he meet his majesty His majesty said to him You have something to say to me Now when he said that to Salah You have something to say to me My son Salah Also He He gone way out of the sky Yeah Because he knew his father called him son And That's all the pan in mind Wow So then now they, they, Which was the chauffeur Said to him Did you hear what his majesty said? And Salah said no And then his majesty repeated You know My son So then he said to him, say, I have a letter that I bring for you from the people in Jamaica, my local Ethiopian World Federation, local number 43, the executive committee prepared a letter for you. So his majesty put the letter for me, open the letter, read the letter. And the Ethiopian men know that they, they start to go crazy. Ay, 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 and I make enough noise. So then you don't know really what caused that, you know. No, it's afterwards, I find out, say, His Majesty don't take a letter from people and open it. His Majesty take a letter and give to the Secretary, or the Secretary take a letter and then not and deal with it. Very rarely does he take a letter and open it and read it. That is a rare occasion where this is a special person who is doing this for. So that, that kind of treatment that Salah get, you know. Yeah. So when his majesty read the letter and the letter said, we heard that he give us land and we want to be sure that he did. And if he did, we are asking you for permission to come home and settle on the land. Blows and earth. Salah find out say he is the first member of the Ethiopian World Federation where go to Ethiopia and thank the majesty for the land. His majesty did it. Headquarters the land from 1948. And then they do nothing with it. They don't come to him and say nothing to him. Am I, are you mad me? So in 1969, now when Salah got 21 years later, 21 years after him did the land, he said to him, say, you are the first one come down to feed. Wow. So I'm going to settle it in a year. Then he settled it in the name of the Ethiopian World Federation, local number 43, with Salah and Wolf as the president. Yes, I. So I'm going to pass right to Sansi so if you have any questions you want to ask me. Yeah, well, um, why do you think it would take 21 years before um, any initial farmer communication with um, the Ethiopian head of state? Well, that is all on the administration of the Ethiopian World Federation, right? Because what is the Ethiopian World Federation? Uh, it's a law. It's a law given to the black police to organize and centralize ourselves. That's what it is. It's called the Constitution. All right. Now, when we look at the Constitution and what happened to Salah and so on and so forth, we have a lot of questions to ask. Why didn't the rest of them in Jamaica support him? Why didn't Bob Marley and everybody support him? So that we couldn't get this thing here bubbling for a long time. All right, that's a question. Then now, uh, another question is, shortly after that, meaning uh, the Federation in a Rastahan, I will know about it, is like the Ethiopian people Besides, says His Majesty getting old and then need to take over the government and young people run it. So His Majesty agree with them and say, all right, if it is for the people, I am for it. But if it is not for the people, it shall return to me. Meaning, say, it shall return to Haile Selassie the first. And that himself to the communists then. So the communists then take over now and I run it. 
and they run into problems with the Ethiopian people. Uh, you can't really look for the Ethiopian and tell them, say, you have to get rid of your God. You know that word. Get rid of you. And that word. Yeah, and God's here. So that happened. All right. So from that time there, when the communists did it, I run things now in Ethiopia. It's like, my body know I hear nothing about Shishima, the kite and the communists run. So Salah couldn't do nothing. It's the only asset. So after the communists, they now get replaced by the peasant, because that government name, you know, the peasant government of Ethiopia today, and that government name. So when the peasant then take over now, Salah go in now and raise with them and where we are, are and yeah. In the reason with the communists them too, you know, yeah. And uh, the communists them come in with a bad man kind of thing like say, them are take over the land and um we will we, we lose the land up to the doorstep. That means uh, when you know your house, you know your house. But if you step out of your house and step on the land, you know you give up your land. Huh? And that them do them take away the land from you. But you know what I'm saying to me. But you know, I'm gonna show you something. You know, I don't come to change nothing where his majesty do. Right? So to show you my good thing, I'm gonna grant you a land in Addis Ababa. And so the Federation can set up your office and whatever it is in Addis Ababa. So alright, we we'll work with that. So we get the land in Addis, which is called Kotobe, and we still have it in the name of the Federation, where the communists can do it, and Fisher will say, they may fight the majesty. Right? Because the whole party is in other women's way, we have to look into it, and, and I realize, hey, I want to overthrow his majesty. His majesty step down. Well, you know, see, so prepare the people for the government, and when the say, him doing nothing, just step. Because he never really doing nothing of him, say, he did have more work for the, but through the people getting patient with him, he never come for fight nobody. So him just to love the people. I mean, you say, you know, after them run it for a while, I realize eh, it's bigger than them. Then come back to him and say to him, say, come back, man, because um, we cannot run it without you. And him said to them, say, you see, I'm going to make a quick move, all right? But you're wrong. You're not going to come back. No. You're not going to figure it out for yourself. I mean, you say, I guess I'm left here. All right. I don't know if it's true, but that sounds right. So, the Majesty, he not get over true. He step aside. Yeah, and give them a chance to do what they do. And they feel to do what they say they're going to do and get replaced by the peasant government, which is what is there today. All right. So back to where we are dealing with now, Shishima. So Salah never had the help where he did need to develop the land, right? And the rest of them never did really rally round him to support him, right? Because them say, how come his majesty, their plan has said, next time bring the right people. And then the next time he meet Salah, in the Salah the land, away must say. So a lot of right people. So, right, so who, 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 who was the one that was saying that? Which which one of the elders that um, was saying that Salah Salaman Wolf wasn't the right um, people or person to to be in control of 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 um, of land? All right. Don't tell me business with Rasta business then kind of But we hear an elder and him still alive today. A elder say, Plana say, his majesty make a mistake how him can appoint a man like Salah when Salah cannot read and write. Alright? So a planner did say so. And then now when Plana say Salah get appointed in my wonder, so what is majesty really mean by the right people? But I can tell you what is majesty mean by the right people. Ethiopian World Federation, local, 
executive committee president, you're in order. You're in order to present yourself to the government. Yeah. Is His Majesty government that, you know? Ethiopian World Federation, you know? Yeah, His Majesty government that. So sell him know that. So sell him obey that. And when he go to Ethiopia, he get the royal treatment. Whereas when plan go to um, go to Ethiopia, I never go to no federation, man. I go and did get charter 37. From 1955, yeah, but for whatever reason, a foolishness and all kind of thing one another local there, eh? and it broke down. So when you go to Ethiopian, go there as a Rasta man, you never go there as no Ethiopian Royal Federation. As a matter of fact, another man did the the delegation as Ethiopian Royal Federation, a ballad named, um, what name again? I don't remember the name, but you mean the history book, yeah. Yeah, you can look on it and you, 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 the, 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 the report, then bring back a report. The first delegation from Africa in 1961, and you can read the report and you will find out in here. Right? But Planner never got there as that. So Planner go there. All right, you know, no portfolio. You're not the right people. Salah go there. You know, a portfolio. He is the right people. So His Majesty assure we, you know, say we the man in the street. Is who I'm looking for. Because those who are highly educated are already influenced to become part of the system so that they can get a job and do the right thing for the job. You understand? That's educated people. I have children who are educated and they know I hear nothing from me. Because uh, they have them education uh, 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 and give them opportunity and we will uh, in a Babylon and they might exploit it and so on and so forth, right? So we understand that. So we, the man in the street, is the one who his majesty chose who back in 1970 when he did salad a job there. He's the man in the street. But the man in the street is not to be underestimated. He is not to be Undermined. disregarded. Yeah. He is very intelligent. And Salah proved his intelligence by going to Ethiopia with a letter for his majesty. Yeah. So all of that, right? So, when you come now, um, Salah, to New York, to get the headquarters up and running again, like Darman, and the bingy house him coming up. Guy, he is a bingy rasta man. You understand? No, so in a windy house with there, you know, when we get the constitution, you know, yeah man, and we love it in a windy house. When we set up the first executive council, which is where the constitution said the headquarters meet executive council, you know who they find it? Bingy, Bobo, 12 tribe, Orthodox, Christian, and we are stuck. Yeah. All of the planet, you know. Yeah. Because the Federation, it don't belong to no one. It belongs to all of we. Mm-hmm. So all of we is welcome. Is if we know that, and we just get busy and do the work. So we know that. So when we set up the first executive council, as a matter of fact, a Muslim brethren was on the executive council. Yeah. And we make a brethren that lead we in prayer more than one time on the executive council. And when you pray in Arabic and then translate it in English, it always a lovely prayer. Always. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? So what I said then now is that in my father's house, there are many mansions, you know, in the house of Rastafari, the Ethiopian World Federation. Every mansion of a charter awake on them. Because every mansion can use the charter, you know? Yeah. Every mansion can use the charter to deal with black people business. Right. I have a mansion right now, it looks like, say, it's a multicultural thing, and nothing wrong with that, because God is multicultural. So, if you're in a church, you expect it to be multicultural. So, that debate right now is a different debate than we, the black people, are the world. So that means that any one of the mansion then, not to take 12 tribe, for example, 12 tribe can take a, a local, and call it where they want to call it, the local number, and then get a number, and then now they look members. But no white members from the 12 tribe can join that local, you understand? 
and is then now to explain it to them. So, no, it's not a racist thing, you know. It's just that we, yes, have issues that have to be addressed. And we have the responsibility to address them first, because we is the race. Yeah, so we don't really want to fight we and tell you about man and we are that. It's just a very simple thing, right? It's the race taking care of itself. But we deal with everybody. Yeah, we're not discriminating against no one. We love everybody. Yeah. So I so it go. All right. So that is how easy it is to straighten out black people business in a dimension them. Right. Just take a constitution and start a local, give the local a number, and then it may be a big local, bubble shanty local, 12 tribe local. Any, any name you want to give, you can give it. And then now you get a local and a number. And the number where you get from the headquarters will be a unique number only to you. No one else don't have that number. So that when you get identified, you get identified by that number, right? It's like a marriage, and you, you, you get married, and you have that partner, and you get named, and yes, I saw it go. So, the federation is that, right? So, it's for me to understand that. Where, yes, like, right? where does um, the Ethiopian Orthodox or Tawido church is involved in this because i know that his majesty also sent um the church from ethiopia to 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 jamaica at one point all right that's a good question no as we know we have two kind of christian rome and ethiopia how do you know that because Rome in the Ethiopia, what kind of Christian that? Eh? A Christian behavior that? No! It's a fake Christian that coming to invade the real Christian. Alright. So that's how it really going on. Yeah. Rome have a lot to learn. But they might deal with might over right. So, you know, make them deal with that. Then, you know, it will it have its own consequences. Right? But, when <laughs> yeah, we deal with Christianity, it comes from Ethiopia. Now, the funny thing, you know, when Salah leave Jamaica and his way to Ethiopia, he stopped in New York. And he was here for a few weeks. And when he was here in New York, he was invited to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. And then now, uh, the priest said to him, you're going to Ethiopia, you know? You should baptize. And Salah said, I'm accepted. Can me baptize, you know? Yeah, man, me baptize. Me never know that Salah baptize, but me baptize after my own free will with my Rasta brethren that tell me, say, fire bone baptism. A, 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 a fire baptism we are dealing with, fire bone water baptism. So he tell me, you know. I said to him, say, well, hear me now. Me not tell no one to do. But trust me, no one can't tell me what to do. And me see his majesty to me. So who ever tell me, say, me can't do it. Just cool, man. And I saw me leave the elder. So the elder, oh, he check me, you know. And you know what do? I'm saying everybody home at the church to get baptized. Yeah. Right? So that means I'm kind of similar. Right? So, when His Majesty send the church, the church really accept me at first and then reject me. Yeah. So, no Rasta man can come to church. A Rasta woman, she can come to church. But no Rasta man can come to church. And, and enough years the Lord did it. Yeah. So it it, it be from my time from when me go to church, me years and me can't come to church. So when me go to church and me try going at the church, them stop me and say you can't go. In. And then me officer to them say, you know something? If Jesus Christ come here right now, no 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 no. And why when we say that it's like the archbishop, the, the head of the church, 
pushing him through the window. And look out for see who has said that. Can you hear what I'm saying? If Jesus come here right now, you would know him, you don't know him. We know that. Alright. So why why, why, why why then did say Rasta man couldn't come and, and the Rasta woman could come? Why why was that? Why why what was the explanation from them? Why that is? Man to cut him here and woman to have long hair. So them can't stop the woman for for long hair, but them can't stop we because man to cut. And then find a scripture in a Paul. I say so. But when I read that scripture there for myself, you know, Paul has said to them, there is no such rule in in the church. It's man says so. Right. So Paul said that. Right. So, you know, when we say that, I, and I'm saying, Mr. Cho, you know, we're not the wrong people, you know, because this is the right church, but the wrong people in the church. You understand? And then they prove it by to remember on His Majesty. And God bless the, the communists. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset.